QuickBooks Online 2024, Profit and Loss, Print, Save as PDF, and Create Management Reports. Get ready because we're moving on up with QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are online in our browser, searching for QuickBooks Online Test Drive, looking for the result that has Intuit.com and in the URL, choosing the United States version of the software and verifying that we're not a robot. Opening up our major financial statement reports like we do every time. Reports on the left-hand side in the favorites. We're going to be right-clicking on the balance sheet. Open link in a new tab. Right-clicking on that P&L, the profit and loss, otherwise known as the income statement. Open link in new tab. Let's go to that middle tab, closing out the hamburger and scrolling up to do the range change. Going from 01, 01, 23 tab, 12, 31, 23 tab. Run it to refresh it. We're going to tab to the right on the income statement, profit loss, P&L, close the hand boogie, change the range back to 2023, 0101-23 tab, 1231-23 tab, run it to refresh it. So we now want to think about, once again, providing these reports to, say, a client, for example, similar process if you're providing reports to a supervisor in some way, shape, or form. The options, as we discussed in a prior presentation, may be to send an email, in which case you want to have the attachments to the email, most likely have a zipped attachment, making sure the email is secure. And then we could print the, the uh, reports and provide them to, although most stuff is becoming more automated these days, we can export it to Excel, but we don't typically use Excel to present the reports. However, we can use Excel to ver further customize and then uh, put all the reports on one PDF file using a PDF printer, we can export to a PDF, allowing us to then make attachments to an email, possibly with a zipped file, or put it on a cloud drive, Google Cloud, OneDrive, Dropbox, or something uh, like that. And we can add it to the management report, which is QuickBooks' nice little management report tool, helping us to get all the forms on one report. We did this on the balance sheet side of things, so we're going to do it a little bit more clear, uh, quickly here, thinking about it with the profit and loss reports. So on the balance sheet reports, we left off in a, in a prior presentation with the reports of uh, one numbers one, two, three on the balance sheet. We can't see those in QuickBooks because it starts over every time we do a new file, but we'll continue with the four, five, and six and think about the printing options related to these reports and then saving them along with the balance sheet report so we can get an idea of all the reports we might pro be providing possibly on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, or yearly basis. So let's do a similar process we did before. Let's collapse the, the information first. And I'm gonna once again call this an income statement summary report. And then I'm gonna copy that. I'll do my similar customization that I do every time up top. We're gonna to say we want no pennies without cents, bracketed numbers, red, and no headers and footers. Date, time, report, basis, go away, por favor, please. And then we're gonna say save customization, put it in a new group. I'm gonna make it then month and reports. Boom, we'll save that and there's our group. We're saving it to that group. I'm also gonna name it number, what was that, number four. So there's our number four, save it. Back to the first tab, looking at the customized report section, refreshing the page so it hopefully will populate for us. And there's our group and there's our report within the group. That's great. We don't see the one, two, three because they disappeared because we started the new, the new company file every time and it goes away after you start thing over again. Let's go back on over and let's expand it now. And as it is expanded, then you might want like a different uh, type of report within here, or you can provide this report as is, as a more detailed report. So we might do the vertical analysis here. Let's just do that. We're gonna hit the drop down. Usually you want the percent of income. And so we're gonna say, run that one. And then once again, I'll change the name here. So instead of an income statement summary, I'm gonna call it income statement vertical analysis. Vertical analysis. And this is gonna be number five, I think. So let's save that one. 
save customization number five boop, boop, boop. vertical analysis save it let's check it to make sure it pulled over first tab refreshing the page and that one pulled in let's just do one more tap into the right horizontal analysis let's bring it back to where it was first let's get rid of this boom and then we might do a horizontal analysis or we might let's just run it by quarter let's just do that it'll be easier we'll do the quarters run that one and then i'll change the name and say this is going to be an income statement horizontal or no income statement by quarter or something like that by qt and then i'll save that one and we'll save the customization here we're going to say 6.0 boom actually i don't need the point oh i don't think just six and then save it okay so then if i go to that first tab and run the report again we can see that we have now these three reports now if we were going to provide so i'm going to close out actually the reports here because i'm going to imagine that that we have just this tab and at the end of the month we're just going to print these out and provide them to the client in any way that we have chosen to do so so this will be the starting point no matter what method we use whether that be the management reports that we can now populate with them or making pdf files to put into a cloud drive or email uh, or if we're even going to use excel for example so unfortunately i can't right click and open this in a new tab like we can with the standard reports so what i would do is duplicate the tab first and then open up the reports that we want to open such as the income statement change the range but we don't have to because we still have the current range here and then we can print it the printing options as they were before give us the portrait layout and it's pretty much defaulted 